Howdy everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Keith Warren and on this video we're gonna help you Fuck you! I don't like you. You stupid <laughs> Mom, this tastes different. Did you put anything different in it? I put a bit of f*** in it. Come and get him! Donald Trump! Mom, this tastes different. Did you put anything different in it? I put a bit of Kevin Spacey in it. Holy crap! Donald Trump! Hello, Peter! Help! I've escaped from Kevin Spacey's basement! Help me! Bananas. Help! I've escaped from Bananas. Help! I've escaped from Number six, man urinates on fire. Gen Z's trying to cancel Eminem? Honey, that's cute. Auf der Heide blüht ein kleines Blümelein. Help, I've escaped from Donald Trump. Black, I am gay, I am disabled. I am black, I am gay, I am Donald Trump. Gen Z's trying to cancel Kevin Spacey. Honey. Wow, this one's on the. Duke, do you want the ball? You will not go back to the Krusty Krab. Oh, white people are racist. Ah. You will not go back to the Krusty Krab. Oh, white people are racist. Ah. You will not go back to the Krusty Krab. Oh, white people are racist. Ah. You will not go back to the Krusty Krab. Oh, white people are racist. Ah. You will not go back to the Krusty Krab. Oh, white people are racist. Ah. You will not go back to the Krusty Krab. Oh, white people are racist. Ah. You will not go back to the Krusty Krab. Oh, white people are racist. Ah. You will not go back to the Krusty Krab. Oh, white people are racist. I said, talk to me, damn it, or else I'm gonna throw you in the fire. Make it by down to What are you even trying to say? What are you even trying to say? What are you even trying to say? You will not go back to the Krusty Krab. Oh, white people are racist. Holy crap, Harambe! Help! I've escaped from Harambe! Does he try to cancel Eminem? Honey, that's cute. I want to be the next SNL cast member. If you're should be a contender. Holy crap, the next SNL cast member. I'm trying to do it. These... These nuts? I am black. I am gay. I am disabled. I am not gay. I am gay. I am not gay. I am gay. I am not gay. I am gay. I have relationships with women. And sex, and sex with women. And I got news for you. I am black. I am gay. I am disabled. Holy crap. Donald Trump. I am gay. So here, we'll see a fascinating thing, how really the two stories of Noyach, the beginning and the end, are not just two separate stories. They're these nuts. Shush. 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 I told you to go away. I don't want to see you anymore. Oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, but how about the swabs? Cut, 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 Oi! Help! I've escaped from Kevin Space! Duke, do you want the Obama? Yeah! <laughs>
Look at you. Duke, do you want the Kevin Spacey's basement? Help! I've escaped from Duke's basement! Help me! Mom, this tastes different. Did you put anything different in it? I put a bit of the ball. <laughs> Duke, do you want the ball? Holy crap! Howdy everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Keith Warren, and on this video, we're gonna fuck you! The East and the West, the past and the future. Judah Gentile's origins are so disparate in time and space that hardly can he be held together. Mostly is it that most fundamental binding, the concept of a self, which prevents all the elements from disseminating into a mist of abstraction, a nucleus of identity waiting to burst apart. Judah Gentile is no human. Through instrumental measurements of DNA and organic composition, it may be that he is indeed identified as human, but no proper human would recognize him as fellow. He must don a suit of skin in order to slide easily through day-to-day -day life. Beneath it, he is a hideous amalgam, as if the fighting in the mind had seeped out of his pores and taken over his skin. His back is like a hive of insects from years of acne scarring, still oozing and caking with dried acne juice and blood. Locusts hide in half-dead folds of skin, and his gut droops down near his knees. His skin is at places ashy and slimy, his feet rotten as his mind. He lives in a constant state of rigor mortis, yet when he lies down to sleep, he cannot help but thrash about. All of his conditions fight among one another. He is like a walking ward, a roaming asylum of illness in all aspects which have all converged onto one person. An intentional mistake created by capitalism, who now has the audacity to propose curing him at a price, but there is no saving him. As his mind cannot think, he cannot be communicated, cannot be helped by anyone other than himself. For he is so atomized from society, his radical removal from the rest of society is the same remoteness which exists within. Between one ideology and the next is a stark, impenetrable, misty void. Every disparate element and disease which demonstrate the physical form and affliction of his body one despondent matrix in the neural sea of frothing and combating concepts and ideas that make him up. An amalgam of contradiction. 
you would be forgiven for thinking that he is one thing. He is Schrodinger's ideologue, everything and nothing. The flow of these contrasting and nauseating him and me without end. Hardly can his voice be heard over the squelching sounds of a thousand brain parasites trying to take control of his mouth, a sound which strikes right at the gut. Après l'avoir obstinément refusé quand je l'empressais devant sa maîtresse, à l'instant qu'elle me donne sa parole, au milieu même de la cérémonie, il riait en lisant. Le perfide. Et moi, comme un benet Non. Monsieur le comte, vous ne l'aurez pas. Vous ne l'aurez pas Parce que vous êtes un grand seigneur, vous vous croyez un grand génie. Noblesse, fortune, un rang, des places Tout cela rend si fier. Et qu'avez-vous fait pour tant de bien Vous vous êtes donné la peine de naître et rien de plus. Du reste, homme assez ordinaire, tandis que moi, morbleu, perdu dans la foule obscure, il m'a fallu déployer plus de science et de calcul pour subsister seulement qu'on en a mis depuis cent ans à gouverner toutes les Espagnes. Et vous voulez jouter The Norwegian pistol sounds appealing right now, but only in an ironic sense. In the fashion of Garfields and Mondays. Was it the neoliberals who first capitalized the I? It is self-aggrandizing, arrogant, and atomizing, is it not? To give a false sense of grandeur to the false merits of non-individualism. It only makes too much sense. They are people whose eye boogers have seeped into their brains, resulting in a frightening blend of creativity, cruelty, and crudeness, all directed towards making the world a worse place in both inefficient and expedited manners. Who then could compete with an efficient army of malfactors like this? What is the cause of all this feel-badism infecting my computer brain? Oh, cyborg me. It is none else than the despondent matrices. Evil brain rot, decadent slime. There is not else for it. Simply you must calculate on until you can figure out the solution, audit your depression, or until the negative values cancel themselves out. Sometimes they are filled with impossible values. They are complex numbers, once relegated to the quantum realm, but now bursting into your head, the value ever complicating your mind rot compounding your compunction. Cyborg, look it in the eye and sing a song about regret. Begone, depression matrix. Thou hast calculated thy fair share of depressing rays and vertices. What is it for thee, unthunking, unfeeling values, to cause me this pain? Be this how thou gettst thy kicks, yet thou thunk not. So how canst thou be evil? Be thou some malfecting spirit? An evil spirit sent to do me harm? Of course, what else could it possibly be? Despondent matrix, what art thou divided by? Might thou at the least unite us in our suffering? I see, born divided to suffer on earth, then united in suffering and perdition. Matrix despondent matrix, I shall cancel thee out. I shall multiply thee by nothing, reduce you to annihilation. Just as with my very character, the struggle and the strife of these goons of desire rifling through the forefront of my mind, some fight to be sedentary for gluttonous and slothy pleasures, while others fight for the existence of the divine seat, others as ideologues, Yet they are all me, a fuming cold of a, a fuming cold of a stage set for war. It is a killing of the selves in the making, the suicide of rebirth, the murder of contradiction, the death of Judah Gentile. Brain rot no more. Emerge, emerge. In truth, 
The death of Judah Gentile is not a one-time thing. It is more like weaving. Yet the finality is still quite constant. For once you have killed yourself in one moment, killed a part of yourself, that part of you is killed in that moment forever. The long-term goal is to make the frequency of regrowth of negative aspects near zero as you get older, as more time passes, asymptotically. To inflate and lopside one side of the cycle, that most time is spent in felicity rather than stagnation, to create a self-feeding cycle where prosperity breeds with prosperity and begets more prosperity. But, I, but have I not said the same thing before in a million ways? What then makes killing Judah Gentile different to any other analogy for self-improvement I have thought of throughout the years? There should be a sense of finality. If we are to be so drastic as comparing it to suicide, not as a simile, but as a direct metaphor, then the drama should live to that standard. I back down from comparing it to suicide to comparing it to weeding, and that just feels like airport literature. There is no drama to that, just milk toast patheticness. There is a time for weeding, and there is a time for killing. I cannot think of the death of Judah Gentile as mere self-improvement. It is a severing which represents a fundamental change in the nature of your existence, as death does. It is not subtle surgery. It is brutal warfare, where limbs are torn asunder and organs are minced by shrapnel. I do feel like my life changed when I recognized the... The, the, uh, the, the, uh, the. Do you fear we're facing a problem? You love me no longer, I know. Maybe there is. si doux pour trouver tout en moi comme moi tout en vous. Allez, je vous refuse et ce sensible outrage de vos indignes faire à jamais me dégage. Madame, sans vertu orne votre beauté et je n'ai vu qu'en vous de la sincérité. De vous depuis longtemps je fais un cas extrême et laissez-moi toujours vous estimer de même. Et souffrez que mon cœur dans ces troubles divers ne se présente point à l'honneur de vos fers. Je m'en sens trop indigne et commence à connaître que le ciel pour ce nœud ne m'avait point fait naître, que ce serait pour vous un hommage trop bas que le rebut d'un cœur qui ne vous valait pas. Et qu'enfin... Vous pouvez suivre cette pensée. Ma main de se donner n'est pas embarrassée. Et voilà votre ami, sans trop m'inquiéter, si je l'en priais, la pourrait accepter. Ah <rire> Cet honneur, madame, est toute mon envie, et je sacrifierais et mon sang et ma vie. Fussiez-vous l'un pour l'autre pour goûter de vrais contentements À jamais. L'un pour l'autre, gardez ces sentiments. 
trahi de toutes parts, accablé d'injustice, je vais sortir d'un gouffre où triomphent les vices et chercher sur la terre un endroit écarté où d'être homme d'honneur, on a la liberté. Allons, madame, allons employer toute chose pour rompre le dessein que son cœur se propose. There might not ever be any help. What meandering half measure of comparison have you to offer? What can you analogize with suicide when all else is so much the less extreme? I remember going skiing in the winter and how I would savor a bowl of ramen noodles cooked in thermos water. How the water was so hot that it would deform the plastic spoon I used to eat it. Or rather that speaks to the low grade of the spoon plastic. Do not build a mansion where a simple bivouac would suffice, unless you enjoy building mansions. All this to say that maybe suicide is not the best analogy, that suicide, even metaphorically, would be a folly for me. For what is suicide? The willful destruction of oneself. Judah Gentile would never kill himself. This is not suicide, this is execution. This is surgery. After all, a partial suicide does not make much sense. As for being interchangeable with self-improvement, that was inevitable. But that is not some evil thing. Only have I come to associate the phrase with grifters and regurgitators. I will improve myself in a way that is my own, a way that is radical, which is without the contradiction mound. I shall perch for Vespers 9. Do those things which make me whole. What else could I call a deliberate change upon myself for the sake of better being? Yeah, grifters and snake oil salesmen have ruined the word. But still is it a word. It doesn't matter how radical your change is. If deliberate and positive, it is quote-unquote mere self-improvement. So gone is the suicide metaphor. Here cometh the wind to slick away Judah Gentile on wings of gold. It was bad faith, tr trying to make the square peg fit into the round hole. There is nothing in death for me, literally. After all, Judah Gentile was a creation of Judah Gentile. Rather, the idea that he must die by suicide was his idea, all scorched earth and shit. But it is only that he must go. So, so long, Mr. Gentile. I have finally realized thy folly that thing which kept thee bound to me, and away thou goest, at last, the death of Judah Gentile.